Okay, we're going to have a look at art boards now. I mentioned uh, the art board is the uh, white paper space you can see here. It's even got a, sh a faint shadow line to indicate it is the paper space. And we can edit it um, using the artboard edit tool. Um, but one way I prefer to do it is to go up to document setup, which we had a look at just before, and click the edit artboards option, which uh, selects the initial artboard and it, enable and it activates the edit artboards tool. And you can see that edit artboards tool is down just next to the hand, and I'll hover above it. It's called the artboard tool, and you access it using um, by pressing Shift and O. Okay, now the benefit of having an artboard tool, which is new to Illustrator CS5, is it allows us to treat artboards much like we would geometry. So, if you remember, we set our um, rulers to millimeters, and uh, that would mean that the size of this artboard is 594, and you can see that in the width of the artboard, and the height is 841. So, with the artboard selected, we can go and edit this uh, this number up here to be exactly 594 or reshape it a tiny bit and uh, if we wanted it to be a, a landscape A2 we could put that at 420 which would halve the size and it would make it a um, A2. Now if I wanted to I'll just press Control Z which is the shortcut for um, undoing and I want to make that A2 snap towards the top I can set the editing dimension by clicking the reference point. So if I put the reference point at the top um, and you'll you'll see a few of these change, uh, these numbers change because this describes its X location and Y location. Um, if I go and change that to 420 now you'll see that the A2 pops on at the top and I might want to then copy this artboard down, make another artboard so I've got two A2 sheets and so I'll press hold. Now these are all transformation uh, basic transformation techniques you'll learn as we go along and then I'll click and then I will drag down you'll see that the artwork is being dragged with it and I'll let go and you'll see we have a second artboard okay now I'll just undo that and I'll show you how we can draw another artboard so I will just start I'll just click and draw using the artboard tool and you can I'm using the smart guides here you'll learn about later and you'll see we can draw any number of artboards in our panel presentation and we can have them set up just as we would want them to be set up on the wall when we pin this stuff up at our final critique. Really useful stuff. Okay, so a couple more options I'll show um, using the artboards that make it really useful is uh, the cross in the top right hand corner of an artboard allows you to get rid of an artboard quite easily. Um, locking the constraints of the artboard uh, enable you to increase the size of one element and you'll notice we have artboard 3 selected. If I tap up with my art with my uh, arrow key you'll see how the artboard is growing from the top center as that's where you restrained it proportionally based on the size. So it's maintaining its proportions but I'm increasing the size and because it's locked it is in, uh, increasing in height in such a way that maintains a proportion. Really useful. Um, okay, a couple of other things. The artboard options. So the, all in the control bar um, are all the options for the artboard once the artboard and the artboard tool are selected. So we can change the name of the artboard which can be quite useful. Um, the width, height, you know, all the stuff that we can co control in the artboard itself and a few other things like show the center mark, show the crosshairs um, and we can delete it of course. Um, this button here is extremely useful and that's move copy artwork with artboard. You may have noticed that this, if I choose this artboard here and I deselect that and I drag it down again, it does not drag a copy of the artwork. So I can treat this as my A1 panel if I delete the other two by pressing delete. Instead my A1 panel, two A A2s instead of an A1 so that it will enable me to print or export A2 PDFs which I can then print on an A2 plotter later instead of printing it as one A1 PDF. Um, that will, or A1 plotted drawing. Using this property will be useful for everybody at some point in their architectural education. Uh, there's not a lot more to show you apart from creating new artboard, uh, delete, but you'll, you'll, there's many ways to go about those things and showing the center mark, crosshair, a few options you saw in the artboard options. 
Uh, but that's about it.